Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 190. Build day number 190. Moving along. It is Saturday, it's payday. Um, so today we've got our general labor crew all here on site. Um, nobody outside of that, so we've got our electricians, our painters, um, carpenters, and tilers, um, as well as the varnishers up here on the front. So <clears throat> the big thing today, uh, we're looking at getting some of these doors to the final varnish. Uh, so it should be um, nice finished on the end of it. And the other thing that we're looking at doing today Mr. Allen there is hanging our front door today. So we're gonna do an initial test fit on the door. See how that goes today. So uh, let's walk around and see where everybody else is at and uh, let's get started. All right, so yes, we are continuing with uh, the varnishing so we should have a final varnish today. He is using the uh, air compressor and uh, Container for that so they're airbrushing the varnish so it comes on a very nice thin coat and extremely shiny uh, So he already put a first coat of varnish on this one here in the middle I saw him do it earlier uh, just before I got started videoing uh, So these three look like they're in the same stage uh, So we'll get a little bit more of that today um, Today we are expecting the um, Stoneworks folks from uh, the local big box store to come back and continue making corrections uh, to some of the uh, color uh, issues that we had with some of these uh, stone clad tiles. Um, so then the next step is once it dries up, they're gonna come back and seal it as well. So here on the front, like I was saying, Mr. Uh, Mr. Allen's doing, starting to hang the doors, hang the front door here. So that big, beautiful door over there, that big, beautiful door over there is going to get hung here, uh, at least for the test fit today, so that we know where the, the hinges go. Everything's going to look nice, uh, make sure that it fits. And we get also get the, uh, the height that they need for the, um, the tiling at the bottom. So we'll watch that throughout the day. In here in the hallway in the office area, Mr. Jojo and Gabby are continuing with the tile here in the office. And down this way, uh, Mr. Uh, Marlin, our uh, foreman, is continuing with the tiles in the hallway. Now, unfortunately, our, uh, <laughs> our linen closet had to be sacrificed for the moment until the tiles are done for another couple days. Uh, so that we can use this as a uh, walk around uh, to get around this tiling area while they're putting in the fresh tile. Uh, so we walk through the place that is not actually supposed to be there. And we can also come through the Jack and Jill bath between bedroom three and two. And now we're able to go ahead and come all the way out to this side of where Mr. Marlin is working and go on upstairs. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go upstairs. Our uh, two painters are up here, continuing with uh, sanding the ceiling and uh, also sanding the uh, sidewalls where they did a lot of the skim coat before. Uh, so they're redoing that. Oh, they're sanding it before they start putting on the uh, the prime coat of paint. Uh, over here in the media room, half bath, Mr. Uh, Willie is continuing with the floor tile uh, with the assistance of Mr. Ramirez here this morning. So we'll continue watching this as well. All right, coming back across into the living room over there, breakfast nook. The uh, de facto carpenter shop. Uh, Mr. Alex is continuing with the uh, panels, uh, fabricating the panels, putting the uh, plyboard with the uh, the furring strips on the outside uh, for use in the uh, master's closet, uh, getting that cabinetry started 
um, once Mr. Allen gets done with the door. Uh, so we're not going to rush. We're going to watch and see how Mr. Allen does with the door today. And then uh, when he gets back to the cabinetry, he gets back to the cabinetry. Out here in the garage, making a little bit of concrete. Um, we have made the significant down payment on our backup generator and have decided to install it here next to the uh, water filtration pad. Uh, that way it has a little bit of protection up above from the overhang and it'll fit right here next to the building. Um, shouldn't be a, should be a nice location for it. Semi-protected. That's Mr. Carlito there working on that. And one of our painters, Mr. Ricky, is still playing with the bubble gum. Didn't your mama tell you don't play with bubble gum? <laughs> so, still working on doing the, starting on the filling. Trying to get all these nice holes filled up uh, through here eventually so that we can get the, uh, the filling on it and get it sanded and start painting. So it'll be look like all the rest of the uh, grills here. All right, let's go ahead and walk out to the back. The last person I need to show you is Mr. Rafi. Mr. Rafi is continuing with the prime co primer coating on the primer paint coating on the exterior wall. I do believe he is down to the last section. So this is the last section of primer coating that we need. And then they're going to let that dry and the next thing is going to be going on will be the final coat of paint. There will be a two coats of the final color um, at a later point. Um, the engineer wants to wait until they're almost done. Uh, hopefully done with landscaping as well. So we've still got to look at that too. Um, one other person in this location or this vicinity is Mr. Wilson. And he is starting in the uh, master bedroom and working his way around um, doing the second and final coat of skim coat uh, on the walls. So this will get skim coated, it'll dry, they'll sand it, and then we'll get started with uh, prime coating the, uh, the paint. So it'll go prime coat and then two layers of the final coat of paint. Okay, so we're chiseling the doors out. We have a little bit of just basic carpentry here. Um, so they measured out where the um, hinges are gonna go. And he is, Mr. Allen here is chiseling out the uh, wood where the, the hinges are gonna be set into uh, the wall, or set into the, the frame there. Um, so he'll do that for in four locations. They have four hinges. Since we have a very large door and it's a wide span, it's kind of heavy. Uh, we've got at least four hinges on it. So he's setting those out in place. <coughs> and then uh, once those are set, he will match it up with uh, what's on the door. And then he'll do the same thing. He'll chisel out the hinges on the side of the door. So we'll, we'll catch that step when he gets to it uh, in the interim. As you can see, he's just uh, working on doing a little hand chiseling is about the uh, locations for the hinges. Next step, we're putting in the, uh, the brackets, the hinges up on the, uh, into the frame. So we're gonna drill these in so they're in the right spot. And then uh, the, uh, Mr. Allen's gonna put this door right next to it and he'll be able to uh, make the measurements and put the other half of the hinges onto the door then bring it back and put the pin in all the way down so we'll catch that on the next step all right the uh, guys here today have showed up from the uh, big box store um, the ones that they subcontracted out uh, to be able to fix our uh, stone cladding that we told you about earlier during the intro um, so they're working they're going to start working on that a little bit of uh, sanding painting and uh, get it all to the right color um, so we're going to get rid of a lot of these uh, the gray spots where it's supposed to have color but did not did not stick or did not transfer. Um, so if you look here, what I'm talking about is 
is supposed to look like this this tile here so you got the the almost a, a it's a really dark gray uh the light gray in the middle and then the the beige or gold uh here instead there's a lot of the tiles that this darker color this darker charcoal gray did not stick uh so they're making sure to uh fix that uh before we get to the phase where we need to go back and um seal it all right next step in the door process we're getting the uh it's going to start trimming uh like i've mentioned before these doors are solid hard hardwood they're rough uh they have not been final trimmed they are definitely not store-bought uh they are kiln drying um so meaning that they should last a lot longer um it's a better drying process um and so they're going to trim it down to the size they need and then he's going to start uh, mr allen's going to start putting in the um the hinges uh he's going to start chipping out where they go so he'll chisel those out uh here momentarily okay so we got the four guys here from the uh, big box store working with the um, st stone wall cladding uh what they're spraying on now with a uh, with a spray gun is a uh, a sealer of sorts uh, so that when they go back what they're going to do is they'll seal it first then they're going to come back and uh, paint the ones that are not the right color so remember like i was saying earlier so we've got some that have a uh, the dark gray where it's supposed to be and then they have the light gray which is not supposed to be so it's all supposed to look like like this section right here but so that's what they're working on to, to fix first step in the process is to spray the sealer on it so they all have a uniform finish and then they will go back and uh, with paintbrush that you see here and paint on the uh, dark locations where they're supposed to be okay so the painting process is doing another paint and uh, just painting the pieces that were supposed to be dark in the first place So I'll put the paint on, this, the, the concrete will soak it up, and then we'll come back and uh, seal it again once it's finished. So that way it holds the color. Okay, so these are gonna um, dry for just a moment and then they're going to start doing um, a fine grit sandpaper so they said a, 
um, a thousand grit at least, a uh, thousand grit sandpaper. Go back over it and then two more coats of varnish and that'll be the, uh, the final sealer. Uh, so these are almost done uh, for the first couple of ones. Uh, they know where they go because they got the little, the little tag on the top that helps stand them up. Uh, also on the top of it, it says where they belong. So like this may be for the master bedroom, this may be for the closet. Um, it says it on the top which door it belongs to. Now Mr. Allen is starting to tip out the uh, hinges to where they're going to fit on the door. So now that he's done a test fit in the frame and they had it to where it was supposed to go here, they marked this location on the door and that's what he's chiseling out now, a little bit at a time until he gets it to the right depth uh, for the hinge to lay flush. So here in bedroom two, our foreman has already put up his string line, fishing line, and that's what he's using to guide straight down the hallway here. Um, so they're doing one continuous uh, push to make sure they get it all the way to the end. And then they'll go back and start filling in the sides um, of the wall, oh sorry, of the uh, floor as they, as they go along here. Um, what you also see here in front of me is the, uh, the two electricians, uh, Mr. Cho and Mr. Chokoi, uh, doing uh, wire pulls. So they're pulling the wires inside the house. Let's go take a look upstairs. We haven't been up there in a couple minutes. See what's going on. See if they're still sanding away. <coughs> oh, we're panting. is still just the uh, primer coat. With just a flat white from Davies. Take a walk around the front. Looks like they, uh, the GT Stonework guys have finished repainting uh, the stones here on the front. Uh, they're still working some small details over here by the dining room. So they still got some of this area here working their way down. <laughs> Alright, looks much better than it did before. Again, I'll show you the uh, a before and after shot right here. All right, coming back into the front, Mr. Andy and Henry are still varnishing doors. And our, speaking of doors, our front door has been hung. So it's on the frame, it's on the hinges. So just the initial set, make sure everything fits. We'll take a look at it here in a little while and see what it looks like when it's closed. Mr. Jojo is still working his way through the office area. A little more, one more little, little row right here. We're putting it in the dry pack. We're going to spread it out. Let's go take a look down the hallway. Take a pass through our closet that's not supposed to be walking through. This is the uh, foreman's way of saying, do not step here, please. So we will continue through the Jack and Jill bath. In through bedroom three, out through bedroom two. Working his way over. Let's see if I can make it over the steps. Up, up. Okay. Let's take a look upstairs.
And looks like the floor is the floor is all done. Do a couple last minute taps, make sure it's all down pat. Another job completed. Clean it up. Looks like we have paint on the prime coat paint is on all of the walls and ceiling for the media room. Going around with a small scraper. Uh, make sure we get all the, the excess off of the floor. All right, we're getting it shaved down so that it'll fit in the door frame. Still working on it, just a little bit at a time. So they do it the old school way here. Notice the, the tool in his, in his hands here is a planer, otherwise known as a wood shaver. And over here in the uh, master suite, Mr. Wilson is continuing with the second coat of skim coat. Take a look at the front door, and this is how it is. Galing. Looks good. All right, we're gonna do a couple shout-outs here from our uh, right in front of our newly installed door. Um, so, welcome to Casa Texpina to the following personnel, following subscribers. Manfred and Mary Faye Schiftan from Castle, Germany. Derek Middleton in Antipolo City here in the Philippines. Daniel Nerenberg from Tennessee. Luce and Anwar from Kuwait. Peter from Queensland, Australia. And Lee Conway from Newcastle on Tyne, United Kingdom. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting and being part of this uh, Philippine build experience that we're, uh, we're going through. Uh, comments, suggestions, feedback are always welcome in a positive manner. Uh, so thank you for being part of this. All right guys, it's payday and yabba dabba do time has already come. Um, wanted to say it's been a great week. We've uh, gotten several things accomplished. Um, we finished the floor tile up in the media room. Uh, we finished the floor tile in the master's bedroom uh, coming out into the hallway and here in the office. Um, finished the floor tile in the uh, Jack and Jill bath and also in the media room half bath upstairs. Uh, they did the first coat of prime, uh, prime coat uh, paint up in the media room today. Uh, so lots of uh, good things happening here at Casa Texpina. So if y'all like today's video and this week's uh, videos, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again on Monday, have a great afternoon, a great weekend, and God bless. Hey, sick bears!